Study. What do you think? What do you think of that sell line? Is that not one of the most impressive sell trade opportunities you've seen? It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Top line sell. Top line, first of all, the sell that came in here was divergent massively. But then if we even simply draw a line across that level, and you see that the value hasn't once improved for the S&P to be up at those prices, for equities to be up at those prices, there seems to be quite a negative rotation taking place into dividend stocks. Well, if there's a rotation taking place into dividend stocks from something as good as the S&P, that's a worrying sign, right? But you can see it's a stable line. That's what I was talking about earlier, about it being a stable line. It's not as volatile as the Qs. So it gives a little bit more robustness to our storyline that we're trying to find. And, um, you know, because it's a robust line, it's a macro line, just like the, um, just like the, uh, uh, the, the uh, Warren line, for example, the quality spread line, it does have a macro component to it. Uh, but what a, what a great sell off top line, guys. What a great sell off. You know, you say, but was it not a sell from earlier prices? Yeah, but it's a macro line. So I want to try and find macro levels. Well, the macro level is a prior high. This is a half back trade against a macro bottom edge, top edge trade narrative, right? So there's a macro storyline evolving at that price. This is a half back. There is a sell coming in. So the sell off to me wasn't a surprise. This was a bottom edge. This was now the top edge up here. This was a macro sell off trade level. So that sell off isn't a surprise to me. So we can start to recognize some of those elements that are coming into the into the marketplace. And it's a, it's a good way to look at the market, isn't it? It's a good way to look for the market narrative. It's a good way to try and understand elements of what we're seeing. And um, you know, when you look at this as a storyline, you can see that sales actually ended up making quite nice money for us. Thank you very much. Uh, round of applause for that one. Um, you can see obviously the little sell that made some nice money when these algorithms switched off, the buyers could not make any higher highs rolled back round and a BSG squeeze at that stage is a very, very easy money sell trade. We talked about getting to a target price of this. We've just got to that target price. Is that pretty obvious? Now we'd like them to have taken it higher for the cash open, but we're still, we're still over 10 minutes ahead of the cash open. We're still uh, 10 minutes ahead of the cash open, but that's not a difficult trade, Stuart, is it? I mean, take the value off the charts and just look at the volume. Would you be doing anything other than those sell opportunities? The answer is no. And if we take the volume off the charts and we just put the value on the charts, would you be doing anything other than those sell opportunities? The answer would be no. So in other words, volume and value at price starts to become something that you say, well, that makes sense. I'm not seeing any no more buyers coming in. The value is still improving on the sell side. And I've got a great level to work against. I'm going to take some business. So that's what you do. You take some business and you make some money. It's about just stacking those probabilities. And in those areas, of course, we start trying to find something else that helps the narrative, something else that helps the narrative. I did mention that the algorithms were not connecting on the short side. They certainly weren't connecting on the long side either. So that was a strong piece of evidence that we had an opportunity to work the price to the downside part. So, yep, it's nice. It's worked out quite nicely for us. We've got to our target price of uh, 68.75. It was a sell at 74s. It is only five points. It is only $250 a contract, but it's still $250 a contract in your account, not somebody else's. And that's what's important, isn't it? Very simple chart, volume and value at price. It's got a volume indicator. It's got a value indicator. And it's got price, volume and value at price. It gives us some really nice trade stories. And obviously waiting for those elements to line up, go through the narrative, think about where the algorithm switches off. You can see that when we got that failed auction, that last failed auction to the upside, we get a fast money response to the downside because there's no buy algorithms. That's why there may be some sell algorithms even coming in at that stage. I think there was a few came in. Uh, to be fair, I think a few did join in with that party.
Uh, is it a great sell? I don't think it's a great sell just yet. Obviously, we're cash open and still expecting price to try and maybe run some stops and get some liquidities, but that's okay. We can deal with that if it happens. We can start looking at that as an opportunity. But uh, at this stage, happy enough with our lot, happy enough with a bit of business, happy enough with the profits.